gentlemen, I'm Light and Dark Trap and welcome back to a new episode in our channel. So, in the last episode, if you remember, I was starting to play with the Populum mod and uh, mid-game, I was actually um, confused at one point because um, at, a, at a certain point, I didn't see certain commands. So, like, for example, why did the garrisons weren't, uh, didn't enable me to buy new types of units? That should be in the game, right? In the game after using the Populum mod. And then, so after registering that game, I discovered that the dummy me actually deactivated one of the most important parts of the mod, which is this one. The number one, uh, one out of nine, uh, which is this one here. And we can see the difference now. So if we start a new game, and we will start a new game now, I'm really sorry to say that. Um, we were really lucky at the positioning, at the starting positioning there um, before, but nope, um, cannot really do anything about that. Uh, we will still choose all of these guys. And then this one, knight, knight, and knight. Oh, wait, no, no, delete that one. Unique characters. And, yeah, so, you can see here, there's a big, big difference between now, uh, choosing that one out of nine uh, file, and the one before, without it, right? So, now, you can see that we have the monarchy, which is the equivalent of the baron, the thanatocracy, I think that is the dead guy, um, anocracy is the one with um, demonologists, and so on and so forth. Every single one of these, uh, let's, shall we say, uh, types of governments are equivalent to, uh, to one faction, and then in this mod, there are also these other factions, additional factions, that I think you could you can play like for example the slave king adventuring company you can play but they play a little bit differently than your normal uh, than your other normal factions so if you want you can go here for example our republic uh, which isn't really that uh, republic like because we can actually transform it into an empire so you can see here a new description about the senator right senator faction and I don't think there is anything different here. Yeah, nothing different in the abilities, only the description. But if you want to read it, you can pause the video right now and do that. Um, there are just some, I think there are just some weeks, maybe only this part actually. So it is just introducing us to the Republic uh, type of government. So I'm gonna choose this one, Republic. And then, I think that's it for now. Let's start a, a new game again. So this time, we will have many more things, I think. Many more rituals. Because the, the, the last in the last episode, we actually saw that uh, there were some rituals that were lacking. We were not... Um, that I didn't see. So let's see here. No, no, okay, it's fine, everything's fine. So, let's see, oh, that color, I don't like it. I don't like it much. Oh, okay, now, this is such a familiar scene now, but I don't really like our positioning right now. So, uh, you can see we have a ton of leaders. So we have, let's see, this one is a hedge wizard. I don't even know what he can do. I think he can, uh, like, yeah, he can specialize elements. This guy is a, another hedge wizard, but, okay, this one is, like, a fire hedge wizard, and we can actually specialize him. I think he will probably become 
a necromancer, no, not necromancer, a pyromancer or something. This guy is an earth-oriented uh, wizard. He will probably become uh, uh, what? a wizard that uh, is related to, to earth. So, and also, we have other leaders here. So, right now, our faction is literally a republic. So, yeah, which is fine. It's fine. So, let's see here. Uh, we can do some rituals here. I think I'm gonna race, uh, race militia for now. Uh, because that is, oh, look at that, three units for me. And also, um, okay, we have many different types of leaders here now. Uh, some of them useful, some of them have their uh, unique things. Let's see here. Yeah, look at this one. I really like this unit. Uh, this is the heroine unit. And uh, I like the fact that she is a long range, uh, a, a really long range unit. Also, we have another, let's see here, another unit here. Uh, all of them, I think, have in their ways some special powers. So, for example, legitimate power. This is, I think, a power that comes from an elected, selected, or appointed position of authority and may un be underpinned by social norms. Uh, the legitimate position power is based on the social norm, which requires people to be obedient to those who hold superior positions in a formal or informal uh, social structure. Uh, depending on the type of terrain it is, it is cast, uh, it will change the hero into a different type of leader. So, um, this we can only be cast inside a village or large settlement. We will try that one out. Um, I didn't. I, I tried it before, but I wasn't really able to understand the uh, uniqueness of it. Um, you can do that, I think, with other units as well. No, maybe not this one. So, yeah, this one is the heroine. And this one, yeah, so all of my units, all of my leaders right now have a ton of different things that they can do. For example, this one's the merchant. I think he can um, purchase things, right, for a certain amount. So 100 gold for four of these uh, special resources. Uh, let's see, we also have the monk. Um, pretty useful, I think. So, what special power do you have? You have Lesser Cleanse Dead, and that will cleanse dead in the area receiving a payment. This is also useful when denying the use of fresh corpses for other reasons. So, if this is actually quite useful if I want to, to disable the ability of the Necromancer to raise dead. Uh, you can see we will remove two dead bodies in a tile. And that will give me plus one to gold. Uh, not much, but still, it's something. And here is the thing that I was missing. Another thing that I was missing is this one. So we have the town garrison. Um, if we use the special power of the town garrison, we can actually recruit certain units. So, for example, a captain. Um, by using two action points and 75 gold, we can hire a captain that we can transform later on into other types of units. We can upgrade him. I think we can upgrade this guy as well. This is the ca a captain, right? So he is a leader that can be upgraded by using this one. You can see he can be trained into a knight. Uh, I think it requires something. Yeah, fortified citadels. He, he must be in a fortified location, a fortified citadel, like for example, my outpost to become a knight. And then after becoming a knight, I, I think there are some other quirks, uh, things inside of it that uh, must be done. We can also train sea captain. If we had a port, uh, for example, a coastal town, we can do that. And uh, that would enable me to navigate the map a lot faster because I, I would be able to, to identify all of the ports um, by uh, selecting a, sec a certain power of the sea captain. Uh, this one I actually never tried before uh, yet. Um, blood slavers. So, they are universally hated by most humans because they enslave local populations in settlements. Oh, right, so, slavery is a thing in this game, uh, in this mod, and I think it drains local economy or something like that, uh, but you will also end up angering the, the people 
and that anger will uh, uh, make the settlement recruit certain units that will decrease the gold production in that style in that settlement so be careful about that one i usually don't use it just uh, because i didn't i don't like the idea and i also i don't want to lose that um eco monthly economy that they will give me monthly gold income that they will give me so i usually don't do it uh, but it could have some other things i think uh, like for example if there are already unruly people inside the um, inside of the settlement i think certain traits uh, certain actions like putting them into jail and things like that if they are already draining your economy then it would be better to put them in jail so yeah that's what's another thing so we can also train an engineer if we had a library doesn't matter which type of library um, i think even a level one library can enable me to recruit an engineer and engineer is i think very useful because they are able to do some useful things like building um building roads through uh, through all of these um through the plains through mountains as well if you're an upper level or level two i think level two engineer is able to build that i think also bridges you can build bridges with the engineer and i think they all produce uh, will give you some gold production which is really fine so for now i'm going to see here there's also this one we have we already have an inn uh, remember this one i was able to build it last time uh, before ending the video and it didn't have this special power here but if we did uh, we could use this special power and we can actually do this ritual i'm gonna repeat it um, and this ritual will, will enable me now uh, there's a possibility that I'll be able to recruit a leader so let us buy uh, let's see uh, this is not possible why is it not oh right so yeah that uh, this is the level 2 ritual is not possible because I don't have any library in this location for now so uh, this one uh, only requires I think an in so let us start doing it okay no one answered the summoning this time but i put it in repeat the ritual meaning that it will repeat on its own over time okay now uh we have combustion here we could burn forest if i wanted to but i don't think that's actually something that i really want to do right now uh for now let's see what can you this guy do oh you're the guy with the legitimate power and this is the guy with the race amazonian so amazonians are like freebie units Oh, wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Oh. I'm really curious now. Do we have enough dead uh, corpses here? Because I could already make her become a an onyx-oriented uh, sorcerer. Which is a bit more powerful, I think. Because I, can, I think it can cast spells. So, let us try that one out. Oh, wait. No. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, I thought that would have upgraded her, but that only made her gain some insanity, which is not good. Luckily, she does have... Oh. Okay. Oh, actually, um, she changed. So, yeah, that's good, I think. Maybe. Uh, let's see. Can you still raise Amazonians? Great. You can still raise Amazonians. Onyx Secrets. So, you can see that I've just upgraded this unit into another type of leader um, maybe a more powerful leader uh, she can actually gain sanity which is really good so let's see are we gaining where are we gaining this one uh, the hands of glory in the town okay that's fine that's really good so that's all right I'm gonna take all of these dead units I'm gonna go here because I want to start producing Amazonians as well that will give me or enable me to recruit Amazonians, which are range units. Oh, look at this, guys. We also have a, a garrison, a stationary garrison already, which is really nice. So let's put this guy in command. Um, let's put... Wait. Oh. Oh. Okay, let's see. Are these all of the units? Yes, yeah, some of them will stay here. Uh, because some of them are stationary units, but it's fine. Yeah, I have like what 10 yeah 10 units which is really nice and they also have all of these guys but I'm gonna give that uh, one to somebody else 
Oh, and we have we already have an old castle ruin here. It doesn't have anything, but this old castle ruin can actually be very useful later on. Yeah, that's going to be very useful. Actually, I'm gonna do this. Um, wait. So this is a combustion. Should I put these guys with this guy? Yeah, I think that would be nice. Let's see. You have earth grip. Yeah, not that useful. Let's see. You are a. Oh, you also are giving me some gold bonus. Uh, is my leader also giving me gold bonus? He is. And so let's see here. Oh, that's so nice. Look at that uh, gold income. Uh, so that's the income plus the bonuses that I'm receiving from my various leaders. Uh, because some of them have gold bonus. Like for example, my main leader. Right? Uh, limited gold bonus. It's limited only to the settlement he is in. Which is still very nice if you have something like this, a town. Um, but you cannot exceed, like, for example, this town is can only produce 75 gold on its own. You cannot exceed uh, the double that amount with all of your bonuses, which is actually the same thing in uh, uh, even without the mod. So, let's see here. We have this guy. Uh, I would like him to become the leader. Uh, let's see. This one. Fate over reason, that's something I will uh, maybe do later on. So we have Drain Swamp. Drain Swamp? Do we have swamps? No. Right now, I don't have any swamps. But what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take all of these units. I'm gonna keep this guy here because I don't want him moving around yet. Now can you do something for me? Yeah, I'm gonna wait for this guy because I want, I would like to train him into becoming a knight. Actually, I can do, do that right now. Wait, you can become a slaver? Wait, that doesn't make sense because I don't have any sacrifices now, don't I? Yeah, look at that, not enough sacrifices, but I do have enough iron, so I'm gonna... Wait, let me see something first. Don't do things rashly. So, we have this guy here, and I think I can also recruit units here as well if I wanted to. Yeah. Oh, this is actually a lot better because it's a level 2 garrison. So you can see here we can have more units. The higher the level of your garrison, like for example, the Baron starts with a level 4 garrison, I think, um, on in his castle. Uh, the more troops you can re recruit per turn, because you can see here, for example, uh, here uh, we can train a Spearman troop, which is like 10 units, while on the, as a level 2, let's say, ritual. Uh, well, here, on the level 1 ritual, we can recruit 5 units um, by training Spearman Squad. There are a lot of possibilities. So, actually, hmm, I could recruit... We could build a catapult, but maybe not now. What I would like to do for now is recruit an archer troop. And that will drain all of my action points for this turn. Uh, can we recruit more archer troops here as well? That would be nice. One, two, three. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Let's go here. Let's recruit. No, not here. Oh, you can see that the recruitment tab here is disabled now because we cannot recruit units from this tab anymore. Uh, okay, so we have... Okay, this guy, that's fine. I'm gonna make you go for somewhere else. Hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go through here. Oh, there's oh, there's also a castle built here. Oh, I think this castle could actually... Is this a level 3 garrison? I don't know. Maybe a level 4. I'm not sure, really. But there's a lord there, you can see here. A baronet. Uh, he's the, the leader of that castle. And there's a lake. So, yeah, lakes now produces gold. We remember that one from last time. Uh, here, I'm gonna recruit another group of archers, please. I need another group of archers because we are about to siege this castle. Ruined castle, rather. Let's take all of these units here. Go here. Take all of these guys. Go here. And here, I think we can attack easily. So, yeah. Uh, let's take all of these guys. We don't have that many uh, frontline units in this army, but that's fine. Uh, they will be able to handle all of these guys. 
and also this one will not this garrison will not spawn any units and i don't even think that it will actually be able to recruit me some units or i cannot really remember so i need to look into that uh, we have this guy here uh, just stay here for now so we also have this guy a peddler i'm not gonna do anything of that sort for now i'm gonna train him into a knight so after training this guy into a knight something will happen so uh, let's just do it and you can see oh wait oh really wait, wait that yep look at that so now he is a stupid unit so the knights are actually units if you transform one of your captains into a knight he will become stupid for a few turns and hopefully he will still survive uh, once he survived that um, let's say trial he will go back into your base or maybe not go back but he will just go and become one of your units once again not stupid unit anymore and then you will have a pretty powerful unit a pretty powerful knight that can actually be upgraded into for example honor law can you do that okay we've already done knights knight paths which will make it, he will be able to become something else he will be able to be upgraded later on uh, if i had a castle that is not ruined i think he will he would be able to make, become a baronet if i wanted to so yeah lots of upgrades in this mod right uh, lots of possibilities which is really something to like about this mod really likeable oh i didn't lose anybody which is really nice and also this garrison will uh, go down soon enough yep easy really easy right there Let's see, I, will, I would like to have more of these guys. Um, okay, this is nice. That old castle ruin actually is giving me some gold, which is fine. And it all, it is also now one of my uh, citadels. And so, note that right now there is no garrison here or no garrison building like this one. That is because we destroyed it. Um, in a few turns, this castle ruin will produce its own will build its own castle uh, garrison or ruined castle garrison so there's no need to worry about it too much could cleanse the dead again but not yet i'm not yet okay this could be nice this could be nice i need some units here uh, what else can you do onyx secrets that would be nice Oh, right, yeah, I, I remember you guys. Uh, you stay here for now. I'm gonna go with this guy for now. Uh, let's see, where's the captain now? Is he still in here? He's still in there, so, which is fine. Maybe it's because I, like, took all of his action points by doing, like, what was it called? Um, nightly paths. That's why he doesn't have any more action points, which is really good. It's fine. Uh, let's see oh, i don't have anything else okay fine let's see can we do something here like maybe a spearman squad or do you have only spearman squad no you also have all of those guys what's actually the difference um i do not know yet uh, let's see here we have no let's look at this this one so 12 hp pretty normal stats 12 hp as well is it in the reach of their weapons not really i mean they have yeah maybe some attack yeah but uh, i i think it is worth it to buy the um, uh, these guys for now the spearman troop here as well i'm gonna recruit more units where are my spearmen spearmen squad and then i'm gonna take this guy i always keep a, a leader here or i i hope i i'm always able to keep a leader in one of these places 
just to be sure to be that I'll be able to reinforce my frontline armies. Can you do something now? No, I need to find maybe a swamp and then do that uh, ritual that uh, to to build a a farm. Because you can see that farms are actually worth it now. Uh, it, it is worth it for me to drain the swamp. Okay, so Rod, the guy that we... Uh, this guy here became a full-fledged knight now. and Which is fine. It's really good, actually. Uh, let's see, what other things can you do? Um, can you not do this one? Oh, you need to be in a citadel. In a citadel, okay. So let's go here and cast, cast this one. So that made him become almost like a leader, right? Um, well, he is a leader, but what I mean is almost like a high lord uh, sort of uh, unit. So here, oh, right. So look at this one as well, guys. So you can see here that the forest only takes one action point. That is so good. That is so good, right? Only one action point. I'm gonna kill this, guys, and take over the grave, the small graveyard that will give me some income in Hands of Glory, which is going to be really fine. Uh, can you do something to reinforce your army? Not really. So, yeah, that's fine. Go here, both of you. Hopefully, this will be enough. I think it is enough. I mean, look at this guy. Uh, they have some useful, some useful things. And also, we have this guy here that should be able to take out a lot of these units. So, let's actually see here. Um, so, now, after doing Honor and Law, he can uh, perform certain uh, things that a High Lord could do. And we can also upgrade him, make him become, um, make him do this ritual, become a Baronet by awarding him with a minor baronial title. I don't, I think he would still be able to move around, but um, he, but look at this one, uh, he will just become like this guy here. Um, well, actually that's not too bad because he also is going to generate some gold. Yeah, this normal castle is actually producing more gold than my uh, castle ruin, which is fine. Yeah, it's logical as well. Uh, let's sentry these guys for now. Wait, what? Did you not have enough gold? Yeah, maybe. Maybe that's why. Yeah, stay here sentry for now. I'm not producing enough gold for now, so... I'll put down all of my uh, recruitments for now. Okay, come on you guys. Good. Yeah, that was nice. And now I'm going to gain a lot of iron from my mine. And also, I can actually upgrade it. If I had the gold, I could upgrade it for... Um, yeah, I could upgrade it into a silver mine and I think even a gold mine, maybe. But I'm not sure about the gold mine. Maybe it was the gold stream? Okay, now. So, we've arrived at this place. I need to bring this guy back here. Because I want to perform that ritual. I think... I can summon raise Amaz Amazonians in all types of settlements, so that's fine if I do go, go there. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna leave some units here behind. Yeah, they are, they really are militia. You can see here. I think it's act story wise, right? Uh, it actually makes sense that these are militiamen. Uh, they are only militia, so they have the weapons that they have. Um, they are not regulars, right? That makes sense. So let's go through here. Can you do something here? Not really. Oh, there, there it is. Uh, swamp. So the swamp actually takes two action points, but that's fine. I'm going to be able to do something with this one. So we can drain it, but next turn because I don't have enough action points. Actually, there are a couple of swamps here. I, I should have went here instead of going here, but that's fine. Investing in swamp is going to be oh oh 
Oh, look at this one. Wait, no justice. What is this one? This power kills many prisoners. This will likely draw more resentment from the population. Uh, legit. Yeah, that's a legitimate power. That's fine. Hmm. We have an ancient forest here. Guarded by a sacred moose. Oh, we are also producing some diamonds. Uh, diamond per turn, which is fine. Hmm. Next one. Somebody else can move. Yeah. So, uh, this guy. So, we can actually upgrade him, right? In one of these ones. So, for example, if I wanted to upgrade this guy into a... Um, in to this one uh, with natural pact i would need this many what are these uh, i think these are herbs or weed maybe i don't know uh, but that needs to be uh, uh, that needs to be done in an ancient forest or sacred grove but i don't actually have any sacred grove so only an ancient forest and you will become a almost a unicorn type leader um his his horse will become unicorn type we could do this, but I don't really see the usefulness in that for now. And I don't have any more things for now to do. Uh, let's do... No, that will actually consume a lot of my gold and I don't want to do that. Uh, can we do something here? Oh! Oh, right! I can train levies. So, uh, training levies will make the population actually become hostile, I think. If I do it too many times so uh, train levy mil oh wait actually this is different so train levy militia from the local population that will defend the place from brigands animals or worse the militia can only be raised in a settlement where there is no militia already the larger the settlement the larger the militia oh okay yeah that's the same power then that's the same power of uh, the baron and his uh, units Okay, after reaching those militiamen, yeah, they will just stay here. So that's just a remission power, I guess, which is fine. Uh, can you do that even in other smaller settlements? For example, this one, because I really want to see if I can do it there. Lots of combinations in this game. I, I, I continue repeating it because it is like really good a, a really good um option for this game uh, if you like if you finish playing the vanilla game without any mods then if you go for this one you will discover a whole new world R literally a, new, a whole new world uh, let's go here okay nothing let's go here you special power and from now on you're going to raise amazonians amazonians look at those units they're going to be so useful look at that 12 they are pretty normal um archers but they are free i mean free in uh, terms of recruitment but you can see that they actually do require gold upkeep and i don't really have uh, that much gold anymore so i'm gonna i'll need to drain some swamps continue draining them and also go here, transfer. I'll need to take some of your units from you. I'm sorry, not sorry, but yeah, I'll need to go take them. Wait, are we? Okay, transfer. Oh, this guy doesn't have the slow thing. Yeah, that means I am just the one that is, uh, that, does, that don't have any more action points. I could eliminate this guy, I think. But I don't know what that will do. Oh wait, it oh I can actually I can actually take it over because uh, it will produce for me some of these uh, enchanted weed per month. Two in fact, which is fine. Uh, can we use that enchanted weed for something? Not really, not on this guy anyway. Oh that pact. But that requires a dark citadel. Okay. Yeah, you can see that all of these nightly paths that we can that I can do. Um, requires a lot of re different resources and also um, some specific things. For example, uh, this one, Vicious Fate, requires a Temple of L, and I'm not really sure that there is actually a Temple of L in this map. 
which is a bummer actually. It would have been nice to try that one out, but maybe next time in uh, some other let's plays. Uh, this one's this one requires a demonic citadel. Uh, we could do that maybe later on. Uh, that pack, yeah, dark citadel. This one, yeah, ancient forest. That's fine. And also incarceration, this power uh, imprison certain people such as bandits, religious fanatics, and other unruly people. Um, just is served from the bottom of the criminal organization. Okay, that's fine. Next unit. Okay, you again. Could you please? Oh, I should have uh, hired an informant. Yeah, that would have been nice. Yeah, I'm gonna recruit it now. I think I will need to make this guy go back for a little while. Maybe clear out some of these places. Independence attacking the mines. Uh, let's see if we are going to win. Actually, I think it's going to be a Pyrrhic victory, but I'm hoping they will be able to kill all of them. Ah, uh, nope. Yep, that's my loss. That's fine. I have an army there waiting to take out all of those guys anyway, so yeah, everything's going to be fine. I'm gonna kill them and then reobtain the mine, but I think I will need to put a garrison in the mine somehow. A captain for 51. Actually, a captain only costs like 50 right no it actually cost 75 yeah i completely yep so i think i can still recruit this captain and by recruiting that guy i can do oh you're there oh is this guy no this guy di didn't um, wasn't able to build his own thing yet so that's fine let's go here eliminate all of these bug beasts can we actually go through here? Oh my god, we can. Oh, great. Okay, I'm gonna go here. Occupy it. Oh, I was hoping that I'd be able to kill these trolls soon. Because I really need to do that. Yeah, let's go here. I'll eliminate these two trolls so that I will uh, I will keep the, the frozen lake for myself. And let's see here. So you can continue doing what you need to do. So let's do... I could build another inn, but I don't really... Oh, we're in the negative. I'm in the negative. That's not good. Oh, I cannot do this any... as well. I cannot do this one. Uh, let's see. How's my gold production? Oh, that's painful. That's really painful. I really need somebody else here as well. Okay, yeah, you know what? Uh, just stay there for now. Don't do anything. I really have a large army, that's why. Large number of units. <clears throat> okay. Oh, really? They decided to attack my units. Oh, come on, guys. Yes, yes, yes! Okay, I only lost some militia, militia units. Which is fine. As long as I don't lose my main leaders, everything will be fine. Custom events? Uh, yeah, I really need to put some units here. Definitely. How many units are those? I think those are 10 units or something. Uh, nope, I'm unable to take this one down for now. This guy, how long are you going to wait before building your own uh, thing? Okay, this guy will need to go... Okay, middle of winter, which is fine. Yeah, I thought I was going to lose my unit here. Luckily, uh, that wasn't the case. Can we sell some things, please? <clears throat> not really so you can see that this guy has this power right if you are lacking in um, in iron you can use this guy but be careful you must, you must always keep an army or yeah um, put an army with him uh, make him command an army because this power here clear forests so if you go into a forest style and clear that forest it will give you 10 up 
10 um, iron. But that will also trigger an attack from wild beasts. So be careful when you do that. Uh, maybe later on I will try to do it uh, just to show you. But that is going for going to be for the next time guys uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video and uh, like it if you did so and also if you have any comments any tips for this uh, game um, i mean the mods uh, specifically um, please do comment down below in the comment section now uh, once again guys thank you so much for watching the video i'm like a dark trap and i'll see you guys next time goodbye